Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Reshmi Mukherjee. In my channel, as you know, you get ICC, IAC, English Literature and English Language Topics. Now, so today what we are going to start with is Haunted Houses by H.W. Longfellow. You know it is for ICAC students for class 10. Okay, the treasure chest book. We did the photographer with the photographer already by Stephen Leacock. If you want to uh, visit that, uh, go and check the video. You will get a detailed understanding of that uh, chapter. We will of course do the question answers uh, also from there. But let us, because this was uh, in high demand, this poem, possibly this was slightly different from the others. They were, this poem is not that easy as the others. So we will look into it and then move on to the questions and the others. So haunted houses page number 37 let us move to that page and let us start off as soon as possible without any more delay. So, now for every uh, stanza I think you have 10 stanzas in total for every stanza you will get one picture okay so so that you can relate well with whatever is happening whatever the poet is trying to uh, explain in his uh, lines okay so it will help your work it will make it easy because it is slightly different slightly i will not call it difficult i'll make it easy because my uh, students in my class they have also uh, understood it so i hope that you will also be able to understand now one more thing this class there is no uh, uh, batches that is going on so do not I am very sorry I cannot continue with the uh, batches because uh, I have joined I have got the joining letter for the I am going to get actually I got the appointment letter to be more specific for a central government school and uh, I am going to teach their CBSC class 11 and 12 PGT English so I will not be able to take any more batches because I will be staying there in their quarters and I would be busy uh, so I am not going to uh, take the batches but here I will keep on continuing the classes so that you get the help uh, the additional help if you are having any you are already uh, taking classes from some tuition teacher this will be your additional help so okay without any more delay let's start off Haunted Houses by H. W. Longfellow All houses wherein men have lived and died, very simple line, are haunted houses. Now you see the background picture. Now every house that you live, as soon as we hear the word haunted houses, the title tells us that something which is very scary, we have watched so many movies and we are all very scared of these ghosts and haunted houses ka matlab hi hota hai ki kuch darauna hai, something which is very scary, jitate bhoi lage and stuff, right? So, uh, through the open doors, the harmless phantoms on their errands glide, errands matlab, apne kaam ke liye, matlab, whatever their purpose is, they go on doing their purpose and with feet that make no sound upon the floors. As simple as that, matlab, their feet does not make any sound because they, they do not have a body, na? they have just the soul and that is not heavy, so they cannot make any sound. What he is trying to justify over here is, don't think that okay, this particular house is haunted because every house is haunted you cannot call it one haunted house the every house is haunted because now this because line we are going to understand in the later stanzas we meet them at the doorway that is they are very common if you have the soul to understand them if you have the capability to understand their presence you will be able to understand it on the stair you will find them you will feel them along the passages you will feel them impalpable impressions on the air a sense of something moving to and fro so to and fro they keep on moving moving they, uh, they move on they do their things whatever they have come here for but they are very common and there is nothing to be afraid so be, we become humble how when we realize what is he trying to say that all houses are haunted see we have uh, some or the other people dead in the house right either our grandparents have died or our uh, relatives some somebody who were staying in the house are dead our great grandfathers are uh, uh, like grandparents possibly some people have lost their parents also so they have all lived in this house and because they have lived in this house just like after school you cannot just leave the building and you know forget the building overall completely same way the people who have lived in this house for 60 years for 70 years they cannot completely forget this house so they are sure to come back just to the, just like after your farewells also you go back to your school you will go back to your school everybody does to meet with their friends they also want to come back and they do come back and there is nothing to be afraid of nothing to worry because it is their house you are their loved ones so you are not going to be harmed by them okay next 
there are now only if now he is trying to say that the speaker is trying to say justify that only you will be able to understand their feel them because if you are humble enough to realize that they belong here they can they are not scary they just belong to this place there are more guests at table than the hosts invited the illuminated hall is thronged with quiet inoffensive ghosts as silent as the pictures on the wall as you can see here in the background whenever you have you call your friends they have come to your house there is a house warming party whatever whatever uh, party it might be birthday party anything don't believe that in this illuminated hall you have only your friends or the bodily friends that you can see there are others also present in the house but they are inoffensive ghosts they are very silent just like the photographs that that you have on your walls they do not move they do not make any gesture they don't scare you same way these ghosts will also be very very inoffensive they are not going to bother you the stranger at my fireside cannot see so the one who is sitting beside me at the fireside now this picture uh, this uh, in, uh, around the fireside people sit in the cold places na in the places where the winter is very harsh they sit around the fireside fireplace and the people around them we may not look we may not find that ghost around us but they are present so owners uh, so the forms i see nor hear the sounds i hear he but perceives what is while unto me all that has been is visible and clear he is trying to say the stranger beside me he cannot find the uh, ghost who is sitting there because he is a guest to the house but i am the host okay so i know that this place belonged to those people also who are dead who are no longer there so i know that they will come here they will visit here even if the guest my guest do not know them okay so the forms i see but they cannot see he perceives when he i can understand that uh, they are present while unto me all that has been is visible and clear so everything is visible and clear to me moving on to the next stanza we have no title deeds to house or lands owners and occupants of earlier dates from graves forgotten stretch their dusty hands and hold in mort main still their old estates is trying to say that now look into this uh, you have no title deeds to the house or land because we just like i said na it is trying to be we are trying to be humble that we cannot call this house as our own house why because this house belongs to our parents before that it belonged to our grandparents before that possibly it belonged to somebody else now those relatives of ours they are the real owners of the house तो ऐसे नहीं बोल सकते कि दिस हाउस बिलोंग्स टू मी ओके सो वी आर हम्बल इनाफ द स्पीकर इज हम्बल इनाफ टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस एंड ही सेज दैट वी डोंट हैव एनी ओनरशिप ऑफ दिस हाउस एक्चुअल ओनरशिप बिलोंग्स टू होम द पीपल हु आर इन द ग्रेव वी हैव फो गॉट इन दोज वी ऑफन फॉर गेट दोज पीपल एंड वी से दिस हाउस बिलोंग्स टू मी बट इट डज नॉट इट बिलोंग्स टू आर पेरेंट्स एंड बिकॉज सोल्स के नॉट बी डिस्ट्रॉयड वी के नॉट बिलीव दैट दे आर गॉन कंप्लीटली so they are trying to stretch their dusty hands because you know those people in the graves we often forget them first few months first a few years we may possibly remember them and then we forget them completely so we should not do that because they are still there somewhere okay they are trying to reach out with their dusty hands and hold in mort main mort main meaning in alienable possession something that cannot be separated from somebody still their old estate that means you cannot take away their their uh, belongings like that okay because just because they are dead next the spirit world mot mean you can find the picture i have already shown you the spirit world around the world of sense floats like an atmosphere and everywhere wafts through these earthly mists and vapors dense a vital breath of more ethereal air what he is trying to say he is trying to say that uh, just look into this picture you will see there is a this earth around it we have an atmosphere so just like the atmosphere we cannot say na acha this is the atmosphere just like looking at the bird we can see the bird atmosphere you cannot really see an atmosphere it is same as the spirits the ghosts okay the haunted ones so th- this is the, uh, not the haunted ones the ghost the spirits so we cannot see them but the presence can be felt just like you can feel the atmosphere you can feel the air around you you can feel the ghosts if you have that heart so wax through these earthly mists and vapors dense a vital breath of more ethereal air it is some, something otherworldly something more delicate something that is does not have a body just like the atmosphere but the comparison is very strong you cannot see them but you can of course feel them just like the atmosphere that is there all around the earth okay next 
आवर लिटिल लाइव आर कैप्ट इन इक्वी पॉइज मतलब बैलेंस द बैलेंस ऑफ आर लिटिल लाइव आर मेनटेन्ड नाउ दिस पोर्सन इज़ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दीज फोर स्टार्जाज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज द पोइट इज ट्राइंग टू ड्रॉ अ मेटा फिजिकल कनेक्शन मेटा फिजिकल कनेक्शन मीन्स वेर यू आर ट्राइंग टू कनेक्ट समथिंग विच इज पॉसिबली और और एपरेंटली समथिंग विच कैन नॉट बी कनेक्टेड ओके लाइक इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट लवर्स वी ऑफन टॉक अबाउट फ्लावर्स राइट रोजेज राइट लिली बट वी डो नॉट पॉसिबली टॉक अबाउट अ कॉम्पस राइट यू ऑल नो अबाउट अ कॉम्पस so now when we talk when we talk about a compass what we are actually doing is we are trying to relate the compass with the lovers right so here it is very unnatural it is apparently not possible but it is possible it is made possible by the poet so here also the connections are drawn between the real world and the ethereal world that means the real world and the spirit world world of spirits the connection is drawn between them which is apparently impossible okay we are afraid of it he is trying to erase that fear he is trying to mane ki connect it like draw, like make a bridge to you know, join the gap okay <laughs> that part is going to start from here our little lives are kept in balance by opposite attractions and desires so see over here the struggle of the instinct that enjoys the more noble instinct that aspires so you have the instinct that is actually enjoying like uh, possibly you want to do something you want to play a game okay and the more noble instinct that aspires you aspire to become a possibly a marine engineer a photographer an it engineer something like that a software engineer so you aspire to become something better of what you are now like i am working over here i possibly wish to grow okay so you aspire to be something better now imagine if i want to if i want to become something better but if my mind is telling me okay let us play some games and if we do that we are going to we are being influenced by the instinct by the immediate instinct like before uh, when you have an exam before that possibly you want to play some games possibly you want to play some pubg okay but that mind that other side the brain only tells you nobody else na from outside your mother may be telling you but you also tell yourself that no this is not the time to play games this is the time to study so the thing this tug of war that is happening in your brain and finally your decision okay that is what is maintaining the balance now who is actually helping you do this who is actually helping you to maintain the balance we will come to know in the next stanza these perturbations that means this disturb this this disturbances this perpetual jar this perpetual jar is actually the uh you know the uh, earthly wants and aspirations side this is your spirit which never ends now this spirit is full of wants and aspirations we want to do this we want to do that we want to play we want to go we want to earn a lot of money right so all these it is full of aspirations desires come from the influence of an unseen star and undiscovered planet in our sky just like we say just like the astrologers will tell you ki we are always influenced by there is a star which is not working well this is the time when you should do that you should not do the other one and stuff so everything depends on that star it is your destiny it is your fate just like we have this idea ki some something is controlling our fate so same way he is also saying over here what is this star what is this unseen star let us now understand next stanza and as the moon from some dark gate of cloud throws over the sea a floating bridge of light across whose trembling planks our fancies crowd into the realm of mystery and night so the moon imagine look into the picture there is this moon and from the moon you are getting the direct light okay the clouds are parting and through it you are getting the light now this light is falling on the earth or sea mane ki you have this earth only so this bridge of light is coming on to our planet and it has its trembling planks because just like you see the twinkling light of the stars similarly because of the wind you cannot see the direct light it is kind of a trembling light so the bridge is also trembling it is just like two mountains are joined by a uh, you know a bridge of planks and that is why it is not very stable like a concrete road it is moving okay you have many such bridges in nepal and west bengal also north bengal so so it also is symbolic about that that you know that uh, that confusion in your mind because this connection you cannot be very sure of it cannot be hence proved sort of a connection okay x equals to 
there is always a kind of a confusion whether it is or it is not because something that you cannot see you cannot possibly believe 100% of it right so it is a very confused it creates confusion it is a trembling plank our fancies crowd into the realm of mystery and night so this connection which is drawn in the middle of the night some light that is falling from the moon it is giving us some information some understanding of this strange connection what connection moving on to the next stanza so from the world of spirits these descends a bridge of light connecting it with this over whose unsteady floor again the connection which is not that clear something which is slightly confused that sways and bends wander our thoughts above the dark abyss so our thoughts navigate the bridge okay as they exp- as they explore the different realms which is beyond our immediate understanding we cannot understand them clearly but it is helping us to it is guiding us in what we are doing the balance is maintained by these unseen stars it is maintained by those spirits who are there somewhere as a star okay who are not present bodily but their spirits are there and this understanding we can realize through this uh, moonlight this this little light that that breaks the darkness that abyss and helps us understand certain things which is not that easy to understand you can write a short note over here i have written it it is like a magical bridge or this trembling plank that invites our imaginations to cross over the mysterious realm of the night okay the faint light is like a gateway just like that bridge we were talking about making a bridge to guide us take us to a land bridge na it can take you here it can take you there so it helps you to ta- it helps us to go to that side and understand to explore the unknown with our minds open and by and through and help us to understand by delving into this mysterious uh, things that happen that we generally believe it is not possible like people say na ghosts are not there spirits are not there you should be afraid of haunted houses but all houses are haunted so that is all from this poem it is not only this much if you uh, keep on reading you will get more things to understand over here this is a basic idea i hope you'll be able to understand the speaker is someone who is humbled who has recognized the presence of the ghost realized that we should not deny their presence and uh, that is all about uh, the basic idea of the poem if you have any doubt you can of course ask me and uh, certain people who have also mailed me different places uh, see if you have understood it if you have doubts to ask me i've tried to explain as much as possible doubts i will surely take and that is all see you in my next class